New tonight, stealing from our heroes. This man is accused of ripping off three groups dedicated to helping our military veterans. Someone you trusted with so much because we do for so many in the county and it's like, you know, stabbing them in the back on the battlefield. The American Legion, the Disabled American Veterans, and the VFW, three different groups, all known across the country for supporting our military men and women. Alexander County deputies say all three were the target of this man, an officer at all of the nonprofits. Eyewitness News reporter Dave Faraday found out where investigators think the money ended up and how much was stolen. Dave? Scott, we found out this afternoon that the suspect in all this was taken into custody here outside the VFW while volunteering. The sheriff told me earlier that more than $5,800 is now missing from the three organizations, but that number could go up. Outside the disabled American veterans south of Taylorsville, members are in disbelief after deputies arrested their treasurer, James Benfield, along with his girlfriend, Martha Dixon. Investigators believe Benfield made ATM withdrawals and used checks from the organization to pay his bills. I just couldn't believe it. It was just like somebody woke me up from a bad dream or something because he seemed like a real nice guy. It's heartbreaking because we try to do all the good in the community we can for veterans and stuff, and, and somebody come along and take that kind of money from us, it's just it's, it's devastating. Channel 9 has learned Benfield was also the second commander at the VFW and the commander at the American Legion in Alexander County. Deputies say both organizations are reporting money missing and believe Benfield embezzled it. We went to his home north of Taylorsville today, but no one came to the door. This afternoon, we could see veterans with the VFW remove storm damage from the yard of a World War II veteran. The groups say they also built handicap ramps for other veterans and hope what happened doesn't tarnish their image. Can't understand it and cannot believe it. Someone you trusted with so much because we do for so many in the county, and it's like, you know, stabbing them in the back on the battlefield. And we found out earlier that Benfield is out of jail tonight on a $15,500 bond. The sheriff says that the investigation is ongoing and there's possibly more charges in this case. Reporting live from Taylorsville, I'm Dave Faraday, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.